Welcome to Fishing with Steve Diebel. How would you like to catch more red claw during winter? Well, in this video, we're gonna break down some of the tips, some of the secrets, some of the pointers that will help you catch more red claw in winter. And we're starting right now. tip that I have in winter is to go shallower between 8 to 12 foot and that will help you catch a lot more red claw during winter. Set your pots shallower and as the red claw really like the warmer water so in winter they need to come shallow they move up and they are a lot more shallower in that 8 to 12 foot zone. Even in winter, you can catch some really, really big red claw still. Now, if you guys are up north, you're going to have warmer water all year round. Lucky lighters you are. Um, another pointer is to experiment with the baits. Uh, mix the baits together. Here we have some corn and some overripe pumpkin. And uh, look at the results. The results are amazing. So. Um, overripe pumpkin has been going off big time and the more smelly and the more it stinks the better results that you will get and you will catch a lot more red claw so rock melon corn and overripe pumpkin would be pretty much to stand out recently at Somerset Dam uh, the dried dog biscuits and the dried cat biscuits are still okay they still produce good numbers but don't be afraid to experiment with different baits uh, here we have a zucchini in the bait trap and just try different baits and don't be afraid to try different baits the round pots catch more red claw guys um, it's been proven time and time again and it is very very important uh, to also use a bait container that the red claw can push around and release the burley or the bait. The more bait they can release, the more red claw you're going to catch. A huge tip is target red clawing around the full moons and the dark moons because these are the best times um, and the activity of the red claw are going to be a lot more increased. So you're going to catch a lot more around these times. Okay guys, here we have our river pots with the stainless steel frames and the uh, better quality black mesh. It'll catch you a lot more. Now they are a lighter pot and they are catching a lot of red claw. The heavier duty ones are coming uh, very shortly as well. So let's have a look at some of these bait containers. So in this bait container here, if I can unclip it with one hand, we've got sweet potato. So sweet potato is really, really good uh, in winter if you, uh, or, or also in summer. Uh, but if you half cook it or par cook it and then just put it in the bait containers and uh, these bait containers are really really good they clip in and then they've got the blue washer underneath which uh, clips in from the underside of the pot and the black container always stays inside um, these are our heavy duty bait bags and again I've got some uh, sweet potato in it make sure you half cook it it's very important that you half cook your sweet potato but you can add other baits to these heavy duty bait bags um, they like rock melon you can add rock melon to it or um, the bait that's standing out at the moment is the uh, overripe pumpkin. The more overripe and the more smelly it is, the better it is and you'll catch a lot more, especially in winter. That will help you catch a lot more uh, red claw during the colder months. Um, and then here's just, if you want to buy your own uh, containers, you can buy them for $1.75 for four and just get a soldering iron and just go to town. Uh, putting all the holes everywhere so all the 
bait will um, release and uh, the red claw will uh, you'll catch heaps of red claw so uh, that's another option uh, here is a, a groove float that we can uh, do for you and it's really a good idea because it puts a lot of the rope in the center so it's a lot tidier and it's a lot convenient and if you want any of those groove floats let me know and I can give you a price on those um, now here's our better quality yellow floats that are coming uh, they're going to be coming very shortly um, so I'm going to have a whole stack of these better quality yellow floats and if you want to stand out just get another get a paint uh, like a paint tin and just spray a stripe uh, over it so it makes it distinctive makes it yours so if you've got 50 of these floats that are in the water you're going to know which one's yours quickly instead of uh, checking 50 floats it'd be better to say oh there's mine it's got the stripe on it um, and it helps you uh, distinguish your pot your floats very quickly and a lot quicker okay so if you want any of these pots let us know the heavy duty pots are coming very shortly um, guys so um, yeah please like and subscribe this to my channel and um, we'll talk to you soon guys well, how about those tips, guys, to catch more red claw during the winter colder months? Well, guys, please, can you do me a huge, huge favor and like this video and subscribe to my channel and send it to all your fishing friends and family, guys. I really need your support and help right now. And until next time, in the world of red claw fishing, this is Fishing with Steve D. Until next time, God bless. Have a look at this delicious rice and red claw that Justin from Do Adventures has made. So the ingredients are broccoli, onion, capsicum, white onion and spinach. And you throw that in a big pot with a cup of water so it doesn't stick to the fry pan. And you turn it on and cook it for a couple of minutes and stir it around. So here it is cooking guys and uh, make sure you put a bit of water in there so it doesn't stick and then after it's cooked for about a couple of minutes, two or three minutes, you put in the rice and you stir it right around. Make sure you put in that cup of water so it doesn't burn and stick to the bottom of the saucepan but look how this is mixing in. This is a very healthy and very good for you. Lots and lots of vegetables and the good old rice but uh, we'll wait until the secret ingredient which is this very very delicious red claw so this red claw tails guys it is full of uh, good meat basically twice as thick as a prawn the red claw tails so if you are familiar with prawns and not familiar with red, red claw well they're double the thickness of a prawn flesh and here's how you cut them open so you boil them in salty water and this one's been pre-cooked and you just cut it down the middle scoop out the poop trail or you can open it this way conventional way where you can crack it in your hands uh, or cut it up the side of the carapace with a pair of scissors and then just take out the meat and cut it in half. So here we have all this delicious red claw meat. Very, very low in fat. Put in a few spring onions and all this delicious red claw meat. How yummy and delicious does this look? So the red claw meat is very low in fat. It's about four to five kilojoules. So it's very, very healthy and very, very, very good for you guys. Now we just mix it around and uh, a special thanks goes out to Justin from the Do Adventures YouTube channel for this collaboration again. Uh, make sure you jump over and check out their channel and give them a like and give them a subscribe guys. Okay so we're just mixing it around and what we want to do is for the red claw meat or the red claw tails to get warm and get hot. So that looks so delicious, wow. So we just let it uh, simmer for another couple of minutes, but after a couple of minutes, it's ready. And we dish it up. And have a look how good this looks, folks. 
this looks so so delicious if you think it looks delicious please like and comment below guys well guys i hope you really enjoyed this video please 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 smash that subscribe button i really need your help and support right now and please support our brand and support our products and uh, that would be really 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 cool the more you support the brand the more videos and the more uh, videos that I can do for you guys and get out and about in the great outdoors. I'm Fisherman Steve D. Until next time, God bless.